Hey, this is Devin Rose of Lionheart Catholic. Wanted to share with you the second ingredient in the recipe of the saints in this video, and that's mental prayer. Um, before I do that, Lionheart Catholic, we are on a mission to renew the church by becoming saints. And if that sounds like what you are about, hit the subscribe below um, and check us out at lionheartcatholic.com. So I've shared a little bit in previous videos about my new book, Lionheart Catholic, how to become a saint in these dark times. And one of the chapters is where I learned a secret of the saints right there. How do you pray like the saints? That has transformed my life, and that is mental prayer. So mental prayer is also called Catholic meditation. And I want to be clear, when I first ran into this, or what I thought was this, I thought it was Eastern mysticism, Buddhism. Um, and so I actually started doing what was called centering prayer, thinking that that was mental prayer, when it's really not. It took me years later, and what I found was I kept confessing the same sins again and again. So I had hit a spiritual plateau. And I couldn't break past it. Um, I was doing a lot of good Catholic practices, but something was missing. Well, turns out that missing ingredient was mental prayer. And I read a quote from St. Alphonsus Liguori who said, every saint became a saint through mental prayer. So I said, okay, I got to look into this. It's very simple. Mental prayer is where you are silent in prayer with God. And there's a few different steps of mental prayer that I'll go through so that you can start doing it today. And I started with five minutes, and that's what I recommend for you. So first, you choose a subject you want to meditate on. That's going to be some truth of the Catholic faith. Could be our Lord's resurrection, his ascension, his life on earth. Um, it could be about his blessed mother, right, the Virgin Mary. It could be about some particular scene or event that we read about in the Bible. It could be about the mystery of the Holy Trinity. It could also be something where you meditate on how good our Lord has been to you, you know, all the blessings that you have in your life. So you take that as the subject. And you sit quietly before our Lord, praying for the grace to meditate and see what um, sort of what uh, responses you have in your heart. And those are called affections in the parlance of mental prayer. So you might be meditating on Jesus giving his life on the cross and have feel a contrition and sorrow for sin, right? So that's an affection that arises and you can offer that to our Lord. Then um, the next step is often you then have some petitions that you want to ask of our Lord that are coming from this time of prayer. And it might be for yourself, some need you have. It might be for a loved one. And in mental prayer, you can and should offer those petitions to God. That's part of it. So then, let's see, you had those affections. One of the key things about mental prayer is it will help you to conquer your predominant fault. So if my predominant fault is I'm confessing the same sins and sins of laziness or lust or greed or pride or vanity, whatever it is, you think about that predominant fault and then choose some concrete resolution of how you can take a step toward defeating that by following our Lord, avoiding temptation, etc. So these are the steps of mental prayer. It does not have to be robotic. It doesn't have to be formulaic. Um, simply putting yourself in our Lord's presence is enough to get it started. But when you're having kind of some challenges understanding, well, how do I even do this? This is the formula you want to follow. Choose a subject, meditate on it. Affections arise in your heart from it. Petitions that you ask of our Lord. And then thinking about how you can conquer your, your predominant fault. I first heard about mental prayer through the YouTube channel Census Fidelium. And they had a online homily by Father Ripperger. Um, and he went through what mental prayer is and how to do it. And I've now distilled this down into some very basic steps. He's got some hours long videos, which are really good on um, not his mental prayer, but then even the higher levels of prayer above it, the prayer of simplicity and, and so on is enough for me just to start with mental prayer. 
which is the second level of prayer after vocal prayer, okay, vocal prayer like the rosary. So mental prayer, second ingredient in the recipe of the saints. You can find all 20 of those ingredients here in Lionheart Catholic. We are on a mission to renew the church. And um, we also have a membership program that you can join where we all work together to become saints and renew the church so we can transform the world. Thanks a lot for listening. God bless.